Yes, guys, quick vid today. Kind of a fun vid, just discussing the ideal height and angle for your camera to be positioned at if you want to film your tennis matches. Going to run through three different options today. This is the first one. I call it the top of the fence view. As the name suggests, this camera right now is sitting atop the chain link fence behind the near player. Kind of a, a wholesome view of the court. You get more so than other angles. Uh, just a good view, especially of the of the far player. You give him some love. Get to see where the ball is landing. You know, how the depth of the ground strokes. Are they shallow? Are they landing close to the baseline? Are they keeping their strokes deep? You get to see the movement of the far player side to side on the baseline where they are relative to the baseline you know for for their returns and and so forth and so on good view of cross court right there so so it's a very complete angle um, without being too high i think it's very feasible for recreational players to to put their camera on top of the fence here are a couple service points for you all to enjoy the ATP highlights, now they go even higher than this. You can always tell that because the, the service line is above the net tape. And on this angle, they're pretty much even. But I prefer, I think the ATP highlights are, are too high because you don't really get an appreciation for the trajectory of the ball relative to the net, you know, the clearance they get. The, the spin on it, you don't get to see it as much. And um, the pace when the angle is too high. But this one is is um is low enough that you get more of an appreciation for that <clears throat> and the lower you go the more obvious it becomes but um but of course the lower you go you sacrifice the view of the far player gutted all right this is the second option an extreme view i call it net level other people could call it court level people love these videos on youtube because you get to see the trajectory of the ball more so than any other angle and appreciate the spin and pace and as i mentioned before the net clearance you know you get some top spin the ball goes way over the net and yet they still manage to bring it down inside the baseline and it's awesome to see that that's what this angle will give you the slices you get to see just how menacing they are how low they they keep the slices just barely skidding over the net. But, of course, especially compared to the, the higher angles, the top of the fence view that we just saw, the gets little love. You don't get to see where he is relative to the baseline. Look at him. He just looks like a, a blip on the radar. So it's very uh, much a one-sided angle. But, but again, the ball, the shape that they put on it, the, the spin is just awesome. Awesome to see from this angle. It's so low, you can't even really see the, the far surface line. It's, it's just on the ground. And then this is the third option, kind of a combination of the two ones we just saw. I call it the eye level view. This one's sitting on top of a ladder. I'd say it's about seven feet in the air. So you can still get to see the trajectory of the ball and the, and the clearance it has over the net. But you still get a little, you still get a little bit of love to the far player. Definitely not as much as uh, the top of the fence view. But you can you can at least see the service line. It's it's about halfway between the bottom of the net and the, the tape of the net, and you still get a, a decent sense of where the ball is landing relative to the baseline. You know the depth of the shots on the on the far side, um, but you don't really get to see where the far player is standing too too well, um, how far back they are behind the baseline. 
um, especially on, on return to serve if you were interested in seeing that so let me know what you guys think um, I'm curious to know of these three which do you think is ideal or do you actually like the the ATP height um, again that's higher than any of these three are presented kind of a fun discussion um, let me know your thoughts and maybe I'll take you guys up on it if you guys pref strongly prefer one over the rest I'll try to start filming from that angle going forward it's really all I got appreciate you guys tuning in subscribe you got it. You got it. remember that a trash from tennis is some of the tennis tracks we've been